Do you think you would have survived this book? No, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. If I had been in an underwater bungalow and I had to swim, I would have been swept. To s I'm, I'm a strong swimmer. <laughs> I'm not. Hello, welcome. This is Fizz and Fiction. I'm Kristen. And I'm Spencer. And, and we're. This is a book. Yep, yeah, this is a book. We're talking books. We're talking um, One Perfect Couple today by Ruth Ware. Yep. It is our June, what are we in June? June, June book of the month. Yep. Our book club book. Our book club book. And um, mm -hmm. you want to give a I'll give a synopsis. synopsis. Yes, yes. You, could, you see? That is a long book jacket. <laughs> I'm just looking at it right now. I'm going to ignore this part. I think it's just like, Oh, yes. that's fair. Um, Lila, Layla, Lila, I say Lila. I say Lila. Lila is in a bit of a rut. Her postdoctoral research has fizzled out. She's pretty sure they won't extend her contract, and things with her boyfriend, Nico, an aspiring actor, aren't going great. When the opportunity arises for Nico to join the cast of a new reality TV show, One Perfect Couple, she decides to try out with him. A whirlwind audition process later, Lila finds herself whisked off to a tropical paradise with Nico, boating through the Indian Ocean toward Ever After Island, where the two of them will compete against four other couples. They list them all. Bayer and Angel, Dan and Dan, That is wild. Twilight, why do we care? That's wild. Joel and Romy. I'll read about it later. And Connor and Xana in order to win a cash prize. You usually just say four other couples. I'm yeah. Like that. But not long after they arrive on the deserted island, things start to go wrong. After the first challenge leaves everyone rattled and angry, an overnight storm takes matters from bad to worse. Caught off from the mainland by miles of ocean, deprived of their phones, and unable to contact the crew that brought them there, the group must band together for survival. As tensions run high and fresh water runs low, Lila finds that this TV show is all too real and the stakes are life or death. Dun, dun, dun. A fast-paced, spellbinding thr thriller rife with intrigue and characters that feel so true to life, this novel pow proves once again that Ruth Ware is the queen of psychological suspense. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. This is your first Ruth Ware book. It's my first Ruth Ware book. I read all but one of them. What are you rating it? I'd rate it a 3.75. I gave it a 3.5. Mostly because I just like her other ones better. Okay. But it is just, it's so different from all the other thrillers we read, I feel like. You know, yeah. I feel like there wasn't as much suspense. Yeah. Like I would say. It's like more real life almost. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, yeah, I would say so. Like not the setting obviously, but just mm -hmm. like what, what happened is just like human nature almost. Yes. Like you're, like that's the killer is human nature. Yes. It's like I'm not. The, an the anticipation there of, like, ooh, like, what? Like, someone's out to get people. Yeah, like, oh, there's, like, a deeper me like, deeper mm -hmm. plot. Like, yeah. a deeper, like, um... Like, you're trying to uncover, like, why people are dying. Yeah. You don't need to know why. You know why immediately. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, you know, it, like, there is a bigger why at the end, but, like, it there, is, yeah. it's irrelevant almost. It really is. To, like, what's happening. It's just, like, that just happened to put them in this circumstance. Yes. Yes. But it is. It's very much, it's not, like... It's not mysterious. Yeah. There's no mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it is suspense, but it's not mystery. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, we're going to talk about it and spoil your terms. So, yes. Leave if you don't want to be spoiled. Yeah. But it's still a good read. It's still a good read. Yeah, it's still a good read. It's good. And then come back. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, first of all, for a scientist, like, girl, you should have asked for so much more information. I thought the same thing. I'm like, are you kind of dumb for a scientist? Is this why you're not getting extended? Is it, yeah, is this why you're not, like, getting where you need to get <laughs> yeah. in, in the world of science? Yeah, I'm a little concerned for you. Yeah, because, and, like, I think, like, in her gut, she was like, this doesn't feel right. She just totally ignored it. She ignored it. it. And I, just for this boyfriend, who, who sucks. Who, from, from the beginning. From the beginning, sucks so bad. He's, like, a pretty face. Yeah. And, it, and they made it sound like... She, he was out of her league. Yeah. And, like, that's why she was, like, so, like, obsessed with him. And I'm yeah, like... Yeah, she's like, oh, my gosh, well, how could, like, he's... He's lazy talk to me. Yes. He's an actor. Oh, a failing actor. 
Yeah. Well, he's not in anything. You're supporting him. Yeah. He's a he's a deadbeat. Yeah. Oh, he sucks. He sucks. He sucks so bad. And him just like convincing her to go. I was like, girl, gaslighting. Why? Yes. Why? What are you? It was so frustrating. Uh, I also like it made no sense to me because I thought that she had to like turn something in, and then she was like, "I'll do it from the beach." And then like they take her phone. And she's like, "No big deal." I'm like, wait, what is happening? She was. Yeah. She was like, oh, I'll just do it when I get home. I'm like, what? That made no sense to me. You're trying I, to keep your job. And they got like a deadline. I, yeah, I did not understand that part at all. It was weird. They like backed, I don't know, it was weird. It, it was, was weird. like, I thought you were committed to your work and obviously you could like give two shits. Yeah. It was weird. It was weird. I was, she was so unbothered. It was so. She was so unbothered. She was so unbothered by it. She was like, like oh, okay. she turned her stuff in. She didn't even like mention like emailing her boss. Right, while she's still... Like, <laughs> like, how would you not? How would you not? It made no sense. It made no sense. So, yeah. So, they agreed to do this <laughs> show after, like, a few very sketchy face-to-face -face interviews where he's basically just asking, like, are you political and are you smart? Yeah. And she's like, this is weird, but she goes along with it. The next week, they're out. They're yeah. on a boat. And was still with, like, no information. No information. They sign contracts. That she doesn't read. Also weird that she didn't read it. Yes! I'm like... I don't think you're actually smart, girl. No. 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 I think you were just like, okay, I guess I'm doing this. Yeah. Very sus. Yes, she was. She was very sus. It was very <laughs> sus. So they get on a boat and meet the other contestants. Mm-hmm. All of them seem like kind of awful people in some way or another. Yeah. None of them were great. No. Um, they meet the... Um, Let me Camille. Camille, and then the guy who is like the head of the show. Baz. Who's an ass. Baz? Yeah, Baz. Who's an asshole. He was an asshole. Um, and yeah, they tell him like what they're gonna, um. And they're like, surprise, we're taking your phones and your computers yep. and your Apple Watches. Yep. Um. And yeah, they give him the premise. They give him the premise. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, if, it's a couple show, but if you and the couple... We'll take one person away we'll a take week. Take one person away a week, and it's basically like whoever fails the challenge, mm -hmm. and then that person who's left, we recouple you. Recouple you, and they're all like, "What?" And they're all shocked, and I'm like, "Yeah." There was something else that was in the contract that they didn't realize. They didn't realize about the phones. Oh the yeah, and it, they, yeah, it was in the contract. I'm like, "Y'all not read this?" No, they did not. It was wild. It was. It was. Um. But the girl, one of the girls also did have a good point. She was like, yeah, this is what happens on reality TV shows. I'm like, yeah, you should probably know that yeah, you can't like, have your phone. Exactly. Yeah. And babe, she mentions, like, all these other reality TV shows that she's watched, too. And I'm like, I think you're just dumb, girl. <laughs> What's your problem? I think you're just dumb. Uh, mm -hmm. You do find out on the boat. So they're taking a boat down to this island they're going to be on. Yeah. And, like, oh, the show hasn't, the show is, like, supposed to be the first. On this new streaming platform. Yeah. Haven't even been bought. <laughs> but she's, they don't know that yet. Yeah. But she, like, kind of susses that out later. Yeah. And, like, it's, they're going to an island that's got a resort being built by the Baz's friend. Yeah. So we're getting it for cheap. Not even finished. It's not even finished. Which and is just, like, how do you not? It just all sounds bad. It does. It does. It's, like, why did I go here? But they're already place. on the ocean, and they, like... I think something in their contract, too, so they, they basically had to do it now that they're on the boat or something. Or like, yeah. Oh. Like, the fact that, um, they, everything should have been such a red flag. Like, as soon oh, as they, yeah. as soon as they got on the island and they saw there wasn't that, like, wellness team, mm -hmm. I'm like, how are you? Because one girl was like, I've been on them before or something. Yeah, she's like, there's always, she's like, there's psychiatrists yes. to make sure you're not losing your mind. Yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah, there's doctors to make sure. Medical. That, yeah, medical mm -hmm. attention, which is, makes sense. And there's, like, no one there. Especially when you're on such a remote island. And they told them later, too, that, like, everyone, most people are going back to the boat. Which is so sketchy. It's They're so like, sketchy. yeah, we're going to the boat. I'm like, There's, like, not enough finished places here. You'll have, like, maybe two people on the island yeah. for you. It's so sketchy. None of the cameras are working when they get there. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Or not, the, 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 the um, sound wasn't working, I guess. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's all, like, super sketch. And, like, she can kind of, she's regretting it almost immediately when they touch down. But he's, like, Nico's, like, hamming it up for the cameras. Yeah. Which I didn't like. No. He sucked. He sucked. Yeah. He he would say something. I'm like, he wouldn't say that. In not real life. Not in real life. No. Ugh. So, yeah. Uh, so, Camille's kind of like the voiceover person because they don't have anyone hired yet. Mm -hmm. Which is also still just like, you don't have a host. Yeah. <laughs> it's, sketch. it's all sketchy. And they get 
pretty quickly into the challenge. Like, they do win that first day. Yeah, and they're like, the, and this probably is true of, like, reality TV shows. It's like, they say it's a, a like, weekly challenge, but yeah. they film it every, like, two days. Yeah, which makes sense. It does, yeah. yeah. You would actually wait around a week. Yeah. So their first challenge is just a questionnaire about <laughs> questions, and you have to guess what your partner wrote down. What's my ideal night in? What's my ideal night out? What's my regular order at such and such? Yeah. Which is just like, things. I would know about you. <laughs> yes. Things you should know about a person you're supposedly in love with. Like, you would know, like, some of them are even just so basic. Yeah. Where it's like, you would know that about anybody. Like, anybody that you're spending this much time with. Yes. Like, what do that they... you, like, live with, too? Like, yeah. That you should be having, the, like, the nights in and the nights out with? Yeah. It was... Mm. Needless to say... <laughs> Uh, they fill out their little things, and she's trying to, like, give him easy answers that she thinks that he'll say, too. She's not even, like, putting, like, her real things, I feel like, yeah, in some situations. Yeah, because her goal is to be out of here. Oh, that was right. They made, like, a deal that she, they would go on together, and then it was fine if she, like, left the first Yeah, week and he's so. like, yeah, I'll go in there with you. If you want to, you can go all the way. I'll basically fail the challenges. Mm-hmm. Um, and Get kicked out. Yeah, get kicked out. And they're like, they're like, she's fine with him. Like, recoupling, because he's like, it's not real. Yeah. And it would have been real. You know it would have been. been. He would have totally. You've been hooking up with all of them. Absolutely. He's such a shitty person. I don't know why she trusted him at all. I don't either. Ugh. And the only other one other thing that, like, comes of it is you meet Xana for the first time. All the girls are together answering the questionnaire. Yeah. All the boys are together answering the questionnaire. And she's, like, afraid of giving the wrong answers. Yes. And of coming over water. Like, she's definitely below. afraid of water. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and she's like struck with fear, like hoping that she doesn't give the wrong answers. Yeah, and they're all she's or kind of embarrassing like, this answers. Is weird. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. well, she takes the longest to do it because she's just like I don't know. Yeah. And like Lila even gives her some answers. Yeah, she's, she's like, like, oh, that sounds normal. Yeah, that sounds like it won't embarrass. Yeah, she's the guy wild. that she's with. Um, then they go into the confessionals and they like mm-hmm. talk about their answers, mm-hmm. and then they cut it together really fast. Because, you know... And then they, like, show, like, a rough cut. Yeah. yeah. Um, of, like, the... Because like, I think they, like, eat dinner or lunch or something while they're waiting. Yeah. And yeah. then they, sh- they come together. And one girl's diabetic. She talks about her insulin, like, her blood sugar. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, and that guy... Does he tell her? Oh, he does, on the boat he tells her. On the boat he tells her that mm-hmm. he's gay. Mm-hmm. One of the couples, the guy is. Dan is gay. Yeah. And his partner, Santana, is the um, diabetic. Yeah, but she wanted to come on the show, so he's like, I'll come with you. Yeah. He has, he has a boyfriend back home. Yeah. Well, nice. Yeah, it's nice. Good friend. Because she just got dumped, I think, yeah. recently. They're still really good friends. So yeah, they, they know, yeah, all, they know each like, each, yeah. all the answers. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, they do the challenge. It's so funny. I I was just like, of course. Of course. They do the challenge, and they show the video, and they, then they, based on who got what answers right about their partner, because some of them, some of the questionnaire was like, oh, what is your partner going to say? Mm-hmm. Um, and Lila won. She won. She knew the most about Nico. Which, like, good on you, girl. You know. She pays attention. Yeah, to her she pays attention. Boyfriend. Yeah. Two years. And, <laughs> and he lost. He got last place. Which is so... It's so funny that the first same couple yeah. is first and last. Like, that just, like, shows you... So telling. How... And he... So he freaks... So they're like, you're eliminated. You have to leave. So mad. He freaks out. He flips his shit. Flips his shit. Starts blaming her. He's like, yelling. you did this to me. Yes, you planned this all You planned this. Like, you, she didn't want You would here. never do da 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 Oh, he said something ridiculous. Like, you would never... Oh, it was or like... like how would I know? Like, you don't go out with me or something yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I never drink pints or something like yeah. that kind of thing. And he calls her, like, he calls her, like, like mean names. words. Yeah. yeah. Like, mean They're, mean like, names. dragging him away. Yeah, he is livid. And it's like, how, dude, how did you not, it's like, it's like going out with somebody for two years and not knowing their Starbucks order. Yeah. It's like, bro. But it's not surprising at all because he's a horrible person. I'm so self so Just using her. Yeah. I was so I was happy that he got kicked. I off. was too. That felt good. Yeah, it did. It felt really good. Um, you drag him away. And then the, the other twist that they add to the show is that one of the questions was like, "Well, I don't think it was just based on like your answers, like who you're most compatible with." Yeah. So she if gets, you like had the same type of like, oh, this is the kind of food I like. Mm-hmm. This is the kind of music I like, kind of thing. So, so she was with Joel. Uh, was it Joel. Joel. It was Joel. So in the like honeymoon bungalow, basically whatever it was. Yeah. Um. 
the recoupling happens and she gets put with Joel and then his girl Romy is just like alone for the night. She's pissed. She's pissed though. She's, She's like, like I didn't know this was gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. Because which they didn't. They didn't know that was part of the purpose. No, no, that's like part of the surprise. Yeah. So like she's upset, everyone's upset, but yeah. like they have to do it. Yeah. It's part of the contract. Yeah. So that, that's like their first night. They like go to bed. Go to bed. There's a huge storm. Yeah. The crew's back on the boat because they all have to be back on the boat by like 9 p.m. Yep. Um, there's a huge storm during the night. She's, they're like woken up by it because the water Wait, is it's crashing, crashing into the doors. Yes. Which, which sounds terrifying. I'd be out of there so fast. I'd be so, I'd be so gone. Oh my gosh. And I, now it gives me a new fear about overwater bungalows. If oh, if a storm came in? Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. No, like, like if I had other safe, accommodations. Just in case, yeah. Yeah, like, is there a room I can go to, please? Yeah, safe room. Oh, yeah. No, I did not care for that. No. Um, and also, I'm like, sh- I don't know why, because she, like, leaves um, to go check out what's happening. Yeah. And then she comes back and gets Joel. I'm like, and I'm like, I know you don't really know this guy, but I would have, like, woken him up then and been like, we need to get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, I don't get that either. Because it was scary. It was scary. And, like, when, by the time she comes back and they try and leave again, the boardwalk's washed away. It's washed away. And I'm like, why didn't you get him up earlier? Yeah. The first night of trouble. When it looks like hell outside. Yeah. It made no sense. So they, like, make a swim for it. Yeah. Which I would not be able to <laughs> I would do. would never. I would have died. I would have been, been too scared to jump in. I would have been swept away to see. <laughs> I, there's... And I would have felt safer in the bungalow. Yes. Honestly. I would have been, yeah. I would have been like, at least if this goes down, I can attach myself to a piece of driftwood. Yeah. And like float somewhere. Yeah. But just going out into the sea? Yeah. No. But they do, and they like make it. And he's like, I have to check on Romy. Yes. And she's like, I'm going to try and find someone that works here to, t- <laughs> to yeah. like help us. Yeah. And then, yeah, and she finds the radio. She finds, uh, yeah, she finds a few rooms. Like, there's, like, a warm, like, a bed that's still kind of warm. She finds yeah. the radio. Mm-hmm. And then she finds an employee that's dead. Mm-hmm. And that's who she thinks was, like, in that warmer bed. Yeah. Um, and then she hears a scream. Oh. Uh, she hears a scream. And it's Romy's. Joel, Joel and Romy's little bungalow's been crushed. By a tree. By a tree. And, and she's just, she's been crushed. She's, like, pinned between, like, she's dead. Yeah. Pinned between, like, the tree and the bed. Yeah. Frame. It fell, like, right on her. Yeah. So he's, like, bawling because, like, he blames himself or whatever. Yeah. He's, like, should have been there. But and they're, like, you would have just been dead, too, with her. You would, you literally would have just yeah. been dead. It was so her. instant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't, like, a thing where it's, like, oh, you didn't, like, oh, if I could have been there, I could have gotten her to safety, like, yeah. over time. Like, no, dude, this was instant. Yeah, yeah. The tree just fell. You can't stop a tree ball. Right. And so then they, they run into, like, Dan and Santana. Dan, yeah, Dan's like, I need, no, oh, Dan, Dan's like, I need help. Because Santana. She got, like, impaled by she a shrapnel. Like, like, a huge gash in her leg. Yeah, because, like, the wind's, like, whipping. And one of my, what, I will say, one of my favorite parts of the book was, like. I mean, like, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I have a PhD. I'm not a doctor. I have a PhD. They're different. Because they called her a doctor in like their little the like package. package. It just said doctor. Yeah. And she was like, PhD. She's like, I am not a doctor. No one asked me to help. And then immediately has and then to help. Everybody. Yeah. Dan comes up. He's like, I know you're not. And she's like, I just wanted to tell you, I am not a doctor. If anything happens, like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm like, I will try. Yeah. And then like throughout the whole book. They're like, she, do, they like call her Doc at some points, and she's like, I'm not a fucking doctor. She's so mad about it. But it's she so, does help them every time. She does, but it's so funny. It is, it is. Um, so yeah, yeah, they so clean her hurt. wound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and they all meet, I think they all kind of like are trying to make sure, like, who all is here still. Yes, who all still alive. And so everyone's alive except for that worker Romy. lady and Romy. Yeah, yeah. So now they're just trying to like. They bury them. They do bury them, which is. Yeah, which was nice. Yeah. Made sense. Yeah. Um, and the middle part kind of lulled for me, so, like... That's fair. When they were, like, gathering supplies. Gathering, sh- like, finding like, water. And just, like, calling people on the radio. T- trying to get the radio to work. Yeah. Like, they're all kind of like, um, you know, someone will find us, someone will rescue us. Like, yeah. oh, it's only been so many days. Yeah. So, pretty quickly, is his name David? Connor. 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 Connor kind of, like, steps up as, like... He's very alpha. Very alpha. As, like, a leader of the pack. He's like, this is the water. They find the water and they find the, some food. And he's like, this is how we need to ration it mm-hmm. until somebody to survive. finds us. Yeah. yeah. At first, everyone was like, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. But then, like. But then he goes way too overboard with it. He start. He like moves all of their supplies into his bungalow, which is so sketchy. Yeah. And Joel's like helped him do it because mm-hmm. Joel's like his little lackey. Yeah. Like, and there's also like they they mentioned that. 
Connor might know Baz, the guy that put it all together, like, pretty early uh, on. Yeah, Lila, like, picks up on that mm -hmm. on the boat. She's like, it looks like they have history. Yeah. But not a good history. But not a good history. But he, like, denies, like, really knowing him. Yeah, he's like, I don't know him. And then, um, I think the first death is Bayer. Yes. So when he takes the food and water away. He's like, bring it back. Yeah, and he's like basically like no, and so Bayer gets pissed. Mm -hmm. and he's like, also a big. They're both big guys. They're both big guys. Mm -hmm. And like I guess he probably punches first. Like Bayer's kind of a hothead. Yeah, and then Connor demolishes him. Yeah, like he just beats him to a pulp, bashes his head in, and um, his girlfriend Angel Angel is like Doc <laughs> Lila, like 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 come She's, check on him. He's dead. And he's dead. He killed him. He literally killed him with his bare hands. Yeah. Um, and that's when they're all like, okay, oh, fuck. we have a problem. Yeah. Like, it was one thing, the other two people who died, died of their circumstance. Yeah. Like, it happened. storm. Yeah. yeah. But, he just killed somebody. Yeah, he just killed someone. He is controlling all of our water. And he's a danger. He's, a, he's we're in danger. literally a danger. Mm -hmm. And now they're like, oh, this is why his girlfriend looks so... Terrified. Scared all the time. Yeah. Scared to breathe. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, I don't even know what I would do in a situation like this. Like, because I... The thing is, it's like, Bear, if anyone was going to overpower him... It'd be Bear. It would have been him. And now he's out. And now he's out. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, you have to... You have to essentially, like... Bide your time. You're playing a game at that. You really are playing a game at that point. Yeah, until like you find an opportunity. Because mm -hmm. it's like I can't overpower him. No. No, he would just kill you, dude. Yeah. Um. So we we'll probably just go through the deaths next. Like, that's kind of like how it all it all unravels creams. like that. Yeah. Oh, which I did read something where this was like supposed to loosely resemble. Um. I say loop. It was very. It's very loop. The, the I Ruby think it says it at the top here. Um, I got the Christie's and yep. there were none. Then there were none. Which is one of my favorite. Oh, I do love that book. Like yeah. one of my favorite classics. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a good. It's a good book. It is. It is. And a lot of books came from that. Like, yes. People use that. Yeah. That like format. Yeah. A lot. A lot. Um, but yeah, this is when we start going through deaths. Um, next. Next, is we find out that um. Santana's insulin has gone missing, which is and like, we assume that it's been taken by Connor. Connor. Yeah, like and what? What are you gaining from this, bro? He's like control. Yeah, he just wants he the wants control. to be in control. Yeah. Um, and so Santana's best friend Dan. Oh, and they're staying. Connor moves him and Zan Zan Zana. Is that her name? Yeah. Into the overwater the bungalow. Water. Yeah. And, That's where they put all the food and stuff. Yeah. And she's terrified of water. She is. And Lila's like, are you okay with this? And she's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. And she's like, no, I know you're deathly afraid. You're not fine. Yeah. But he's making her stay there. I know. So sad. It is. Um, so yeah, so Nick, they yes. find out insulin's missing. Yeah, so they are automatically assume that it's Joel, um, because they just got in a, f not Joel, I'm sorry, um, Connor. Connor, because they just got in a fight with him too, because Dan wanted to confront him and be like, he was like, we, let's talk we about all, this. We all, we all think this, and then yeah. we're all like, why did you say that? Like yeah, that? he didn't want to like go beat him up, he was like, let's have a rational conversation. Mm -hmm. But that also doesn't go well. No, it does not go well. Uh, so he runs off when they find out about the insulin to confront Connor, mm -hmm. and they pretty quickly go after him, but, like, not, like, super quickly. Like, I guess, like, probably, like, probably, like, ten minutes. Yeah. In between each of the, her, him going and then, um, Lila going to follow him. Yeah, and it, it doesn't end well. She goes to the water, bung over water bungalow and knocks on the door and he, like, answers the door and he's like, no one's come here. Yeah. And he's, she's like, okay. And the next morning. He washes up. Dan washes up. Yeah. But he's sent to rigor mortis and he has, he's clutching a bottle of insulin. Yeah. So she's, they're pretty sure that it was yeah. Connor. Yeah. Uh, so there's a fright again. And he's like, oh, he must have slipped off and hit his head and drowned when he was walking over to talk to me. Grat, like oh, clutching this insulin. Shucks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shucks. Yeah, bro. Uh, and so then she confronts Joel. Because she's like, you knew about this. This is the most heartbreaking part, I feel like. Yeah. Like, she's, like you knew what was, like, you're... Well, he's the one that took it, I think, technically for, for him, for Connor. Yeah, he's like what he's brainwashed. <laughs> yeah, they like reveal that Connor is like this YouTuber, like that's kind of like sexist, misogynistic. Yeah, like, and not great. Joel's a fan. Yeah, which is surprising because he's like he's like 
a yeah. smart guy. She's supposedly. Yeah, he's like a smart, but also I think he is also a weak guy. He is a weak guy, and he. I think he's like someone to follow. Impressionable. He's like, oh my gosh, this is my alpha. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Ugh. So, he walks off, and like, you find out later that he hung himself. Yeah. Which is. Like, some of these deaths are so quick, and they're just kind of like, oh, yeah, he hung himself. Yeah. That, that, when they're wrapping things up at the end, that was a little fast. It yeah. was. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, so now we just have Connor girls. and all the girls. Yeah. Which is, like, where I would be terrified. Yeah. Where it's just like, okay, I'm just going to kill him in his sleep. Yeah. That's what I would do. Well, that's what they try to do. Yeah. I mean, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I mean, that's what I would do. Yeah. 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 So, um, uh, that's your, that's your play. Santana's like, you know, if you have, if you don't need insulin and you take too much insulin, it'll kill you. Yeah. And so they're like, let's try and do that to him. Yeah. But he's bigger than us, he's gonna overpower us. And yeah. so, Angel's like, I got some sleeping pills. <laughs> Which is like, good. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just overdose them all those, Jesus. So they, oh, because he's like, making them all collect water now to earn, uh, like, coconuts. Yeah. To earn water. To earn water. He just like, is the worst. He goes on such a power trip. He's like, this is like his dream. Yes, he's like, oh my gosh, like, I'm the king of this island. I think at one point, they, like, go to, like, set something on flame, and he, like, looks like he's unbothered, like, to try and get rescued. Oh, he seems like that the whole book. Yeah. He's like, they might not come. This is my domain now, basically. Yeah. He's so like, so yeah, they, just, they might not come. He's, like, trying to, he probably, like, eventually would have impregnated all of them and, like, Ew. created a commune. Oh, God, so gross. Yeah. Um... So they try and put some sleeping pills in the coconuts for both him and Xana because they want them both to be knocked out. Yeah. And it doesn't go... No. It does not go well. It does not go well. Yeah. Um, and then... Angel accidentally takes one of the coconuts that has the pills in it. And they don't know if he got the other one with the pills or not. Oh, yeah. But they're like, we don't have a choice. Yeah. So they sneak into his room. Sneak into his room. I mean, you have to. You have to. Angel's passed out, so it's just Santana and yeah. uh, uh, Lila. Lila. Yeah. And um, they stab him, mm -hmm. and he wakes up. Yep. And then it all goes to shit. <laughs> well, it goes to shit. It all goes to shit. Also still, like, in the stupid overwater bungalow, which in my mind is just, like... So stressful. On two legs yeah. after the storm. And that's how, it, in my mind, I'm just, like... Rickety. Yes, I'm just, like, this is not a stable structure. No, it's not. Um... So he like backhands Santana first, I think. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I mean, he's not afraid. He's like, I'm gonna hit a woman. <laughs> <laughs> he's done it before. Oh, because yeah. he gets more bold hitting Xana even. Yeah. The... She's just a black eye. Yeah. And they're like, where'd she go? <laughs> he's like, she fell. <laughs> like, with such a. Yeah. It's like, bro, she's got a black eye. Like, there's not a lot of places you can fall here. Well, he's probably been like hiding where he beats her. Yeah. And then now that there's no one. Like, he's yeah. gonna punish him now. So he's like, I don't really care. Yeah, I'll give him something on our face. Mm -hmm. it's, ugh, ugh. it's horrible. Yeah, trigger warning if you are a domestic violence kind of like yeah. trigger. Yeah. There's a lot of it in this. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, so she gets backhanded, and then I think that um, he, he hits um, Lila too. And then, like, and then Xana comes through with something and it hits him. Yeah. And then she, I mean, she's the one to, yeah, I think she must, like, does she, do they actually succeed in stabbing him then? No, I think she, she hits, she bashes him in the head. Yeah. And then they, like, shove him into the water. Yeah. But then he pulls, he pulls Xana in with him, and, she... and then Lila jumps in after her. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. being pushed away. Like, yeah. he's dead. Yeah. And then, you know, like, the, in the beginning of the book, when it was... Um, that forward where it was talking about, like, it, when you want to kill someone, you have to really want to kill them. Oh, yeah. I feel like... I forgot about that. Yeah, I feel like that was, like, supposed to be... You thought it was going to be Lila's point of view, but it was really Xana's. Mm, yeah. That actually makes... I forgot about that. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, she's finally, like, stopping him after all the abuse, probably. Yes. But Lila saves her, but Lila's, like... She gets her out of the rip tie, but then Lila's too tired to, like, save herself. Mm hmm So then Xana comes back and saves her. Yeah, gets her. Yeah. And then... She wakes up. Yeah. And then... How do they spot... The boat? They're up getting... Lincoln coconuts. It's just the four of them. Yeah, it's just... Oh, it's just the four of them. Yeah. And then everything else happens very quickly. 
Like, they spot a boat. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they set a fire to signal it. Mm-hmm. But then Xana's, like, terrified. Yeah, because she's murdered. Oh, and, like, they, the the things have been recording, and, like, while there's probably no boat for it to be attached to, it's still, like, hard drive. Yeah. And could have, um, proof of murder. Yeah, it's, like, this was, and it's, like, it's not even, it looks premeditated. Yeah, and, like, even if you destroy that, it's, like, well, how did everyone die? Yeah. And it can't all be an accident. Well, yeah. at least, like. It's suspicious. It's suspicious. Like, you have motive. I was like, a bug. Yeah. Um, you have motive. With him dead. Yep. So, they devise a plan, which I did, like, I think this is kind of a cool, like, piece of the writing. It was, because you got those journal entries at the beginning, because there was that one that I got to, yeah. and it, it, they were Zayna, yeah, it was Zayna's, um, she was started keeping a diary, and one of them was Bear's death, and she wrote that it was, like, he, he just like, got slipped. dead. Yeah. Yeah. Hit his head. Yeah. He just slipped. He was, she was like, he must have been dehydrated slipped they were like we told him to drink more water I'm like no you no. didn't <laughs> and he slipped and hit his head and was dead and that connor is like so distraught about it yeah but like you get that way before you find you yeah. find out that and i was like oh my god you think that like she's yeah trying to protect connor because yes. she loves him yes that's what i thought yeah. and i was like oh my god but then, yeah, you realize that they, she goes and, like, predates them. Yeah, so, like, the boat's coming and they all make this plan that they have to, like, turn Connor into a hero. Yeah. So that it seems like he accidentally died and they're, like, mm -hmm. all sad about it. Yeah. And so she that rewrites, great. she rewrites every death. Yes. It's wild. It is wild. Um. Yeah. But, yeah, they get rescued. They get rescued. Um. And you find out that the boat that had everyone. Or no, it was, sea, it was like lost at sea, but then it turned up. Yeah, but it was like at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Turned up. Yeah. So everyone on board died. Which so, it, like. And they just glaze over that. I, yeah, I thought they're it was like, kind of weird. They're dead. <laughs> so like her, her boyfriend, Camille, Baz. Yeah, they're just dead. They're just dead. And they've, pro they've been, and because it, and this spans like. How many, like couple, two weeks? Yeah, a couple weeks. Yeah, two or three weeks. Um, and they've probably been dead since, since that first night. Yeah. yeah, it's wild. It's just like, oh yeah, they're dead. Yeah, and then like you find out, um, kind of like in the middle of it, but then finally at the end, that Baz they hadn't sold the story, so they were like trying to like set yeah. it up. That Baz had a younger sister. And that Connor, Connor dated, dated, and she killed herself after they broke up. Yeah, like, he had abused her, mm -hmm. probably emotionally and physically. Probably and just like she, Xana. Yeah, and she had killed herself. And so he was kind of using this reality TV show to make Connor a villain and, like, For really villain. show everything that he like, truly is. Yeah. So he handpicked the cast to be, like, foils, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so you had... Which is such a long game to, like, get somebody to justice. Because like, they... Good for you, Bess. They picked Bayer because they knew he would pick a fight, and he yeah. did. Yeah. Um, to his detriment. I know. They picked um, Romy because she was someone that he had, like, talked shit about on his YouTube channel. Yeah. Because she was, like, a TikToker, mm -hmm. makeup TikToker. They picked Su Su San Santana. Santana because she was friends with the girl, the girl that died. Mm-hmm. And so they were hoping that he, she would call him out, I guess. Yeah. Like, recognize him. Yeah. And then, I can't remember, do you remember the people that they replaced last minute? Mm-mm. There was one other couple, and the reason that Lila and Nico got brought on was because they, like, dropped out last minute. Yeah. Because, like, the other people gave the impression, like, they knew a lot more stuff, like, beforehand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, like, like, she oh, was, these, like, realizing She was, that. like, all this information we got, and she was, like, we did not get this Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple that dropped out, and, like, they also had, like, he had some, some kind of connection. connection. Yeah. Um, and so they picked Nico and her because they were, like, hoping that she would be, like, a feminist and, like, notice he was abusing Xana yeah. and call it out. Which she did. <laughs> Which she did. They all, they were right about all their assumptions. Yeah, because in that interview, like, the pre-interview, they, like, literally asked her, are you feminist? Yeah. She's like, what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> Why are you asking me this? Yeah. yeah. So, like... It all technically worked, but, like, the... The storm really just put a damper in it. And, like, the sad part is, is, like, because of what they had to do, like, Connor in the end came out as a hero. Yeah. Like, the headlines were all about... He didn't get his justice. No. Yeah. So, I, thought, I didn't like that, which was sad. Yeah, it's like, there was no vindication. And what did you think of the, um, text messages oh. from the boyfriend? Stupid. 
I could have done without that. I I could have just let him die at the bottom of the sea. Yeah. She gets, she gets, gets her phone back. Yeah. yeah. Charges it up mm-hmm. or puts the SMS. A new SIM card. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And gets all these messages from before the storm. It's like he's back on the boat and he gets his phone back. Yeah. Which they would never give him his phone back right like that. Right. He wouldn't have gotten it back right away. Right. But whatever. Um. Yeah. So he gets on the boat and before the storm sets in, he gets his phone back and he texts her all these like apologies. Yeah. Which I thought was so stupid. It was unnecessary. Yeah. Like, he, I was like, this does not absolve you. He is still the villain. Yeah, you still suck, bro. Yeah. Like, you didn't deserve to die, but, you like... You deserve to die. None of y'all deserve to die. No. But, like, I would... Uh, even with those... Even if he had not died and she had gotten those text messages, I would have been, like, block. It. Yeah. I would be like, no. No. We were together for two years, and you, like, don't know the most basic things. No. About- we lived together. He sucked. We lived together. Yeah. Yeah. And it was... Yeah, I could have done without that. Yeah. And I, I feel like it gave him, like, a little bit... And they she tried to give him a redemption, but I'm like, this was not needed. Not needed. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to... I'm not. I don't miss. I'm not. I'm not. I was. I'm not sad that he's dead. No. Yeah. yeah. So. And, just, and then I think it just ends with like the four girls like talking. Like they say friends. Yeah. It was like, "How are you doing?" or something. Um, I forget what she says. She says something like, "Yeah." They like she texts Lila. Um, something like uh, Santana or Angel does. Are you going to be okay? Then I simply typed yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was. Yeah. That was kind of like well. Yeah, like, I think the like I think that it was cool the concept of like it being a murder because of their human nature. Yeah. But I didn't like like the ending was just kind of like it was so fast. It was so fast, and it was just kind of like they uh, were just like bloop, there you go. Yeah, I didn't feel good about the ending. No, I didn't feel like they, she took a lot. She didn't take a lot of time to like resolve it emotionally. Yeah, she was just like here's the facts. Yeah. And here's what happened. Like, Santa's okay now. Yep. Great. Yeah. Everyone's boyfriends are dead and friends are dead. Yeah. Cool. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It felt like, it was like, meow. Yeah. 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 She gonna go back to studying mosquitoes? <laughs> I don't know. I guess she wasn't even, like, studying, like, malaria. She was studying, like, the that. other kind. The other thing I've never heard of for my life. I, I was like, I guess somebody's gotta be studying yeah. it. You gotta help somehow. Yeah. Alright, I have some fun questions. Oh, They're yeah. probably more fun than the book. Yeah. <laughs> was you ever on a dating show? No. It's just hard no. Hard no. Hard no. No Bachelor. No. Absolutely not. I don't need... I don't need... And it's not even that, like... I think I would've... I would have... 20 years ago when the, when you were no no, no. I mean like if I was oh, okay, okay. You no know, if I had been like if I had been you know of dating age like 20 years ago not like, in the state that it's in now yeah not in the state that it's in now okay. not with social media okay. like I don't need people like tweeting about me I'd be sad yeah yeah oh, I don't need you to point out all my flaws I absolutely yeah absolutely not I don't want to be bullied cyberbullying no yeah that to me sounds like my worst nightmare that's fair uh would you. Um, only if I stayed off the internet afterwards. Oh, I would have to delete everything. Yeah. I just, I would just delete everything. Yeah. Okay, if you were on a show, uh-huh. what would be your typecast? Like, they, like, say, like, how every show has to have a villain. Oh, I'd like, be... Who would you be? Like, the innocent little flower, like, little flower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, she's, yeah. That. I mean, I don't think, it, well, I could turn into the villain. <laughs> I would be that. It'll, I would the be villain, like origin story. Yeah, I would be like. I would be typecast as like. Oh, she's like this like innocent little small town girl. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, and then it would be like. Oh wait, no. She'd yell at you. Yeah, she's. <laughs> the house is returned and yell at you. She's got like a little bit of. I didn't realize she was that had a little bit of feist oh, in there. That's funny. What about you? I don't think I don't know what typecast, but I think that like, the way I can't hide my facial expressions. Oh. I think they would just pan to me. Yeah. You'd be like, you'd be getting the reaction shots. <laughs> I would just be the reaction you'd shot. You'd be like, yeah, I'd be like, what, did that really just happen? <laughs> um, so yeah, they'd just have me for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'd be like on The Bachelor when, um, it'd be like on The Bachelor when they're on their, like, um, group dates mm-hmm. and you have, like, Girl A, who's like having a conversation with the bachelor, and then girl B comes oh, in, yeah. and she's like, Okay, I'll steal him, even though she's like already had time with him. Yeah. Girl A comes back to the group and tells them, and the girls are like, What? Yeah. You be that girl, I'll be like, What? <laughs> that'd be me, that'd be me. I, I'd get memed probably, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yes. that'd be funny. Um, do you think you would have survived this book? No, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. 
If I had been in an underwater bungalow and I had to swim, I would have been swept. To, I'm, I'm a strong swimmer. <laughs> I'm not. I'd be more afraid of like the sharks. That's probably oh yeah, there were no sharks. Yeah, but like I would be afraid. If may I would have survived if like if there had been more supplies because I would have yeah. just been like I'm just gonna go chill over here. Like like this TV show Survivor where you like know you're gonna be winning rice. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. I just I would not. Yeah. I don't. I I'm not. I don't think I miss her. But and you know, I guess if you get put them in a circumstance, like maybe like you, you know, figure it out. Figure it like, out. Like what's that show? Um, Yellow Jackets. Have you ever seen that show? I haven't, but I've heard it's good. I like my mom watches it, so like I watched the first two episodes and it was really good. But it's like similar. Yeah. It's like these kids that are like basically straight and trying to survive. Yeah. Like, is it Lord of the Flies? Yeah. That's it's the OG. Flies. The yeah. OG. Um. Yeah. Like recipe for it. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think I would. I don't think I would survive. Yeah, I don't. I think that, like, I could for maybe a few days, but then, like, I'd lose so much hope mm. and just, like, give up. Yeah. It's just like, um, like no one's coming. No one's coming for me. But I also would never put myself in a position to be on a remote island. Heck in no. the middle of the Indian Ocean. With, yeah. Yeah. With my, without my phone. Yeah. So. <laughs> Absolutely not. Or, like, a flare gun. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, I would, like, yeah, like, demand to know, like, where the emergency places like yes it's something like that happens yeah so. give me or like a satellite phone yeah 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 mm. Mm. one perfect couple uh so in the end there were no perfect couples just that's like, so true spoiler alert yeah that good point mm. aptly aptly named none of them survive one it should be like one mm. no no i don't, I don't know, I don't know. four girls survive rename it uh but yeah that's it if you like thrillers go for it it's different it's different it's different it's worth a read yeah but i wouldn't different. even like call it a thriller it's yeah it's just it's like to, yeah it's, it's suspense it to me just didn't have the edge of a typical thriller yeah and i like i said like i read a lot of her books and the other ones do have more of like the whole yeah like thriller aspect of it yeah uh, uh, yeah, this is just different. It's very different. Yeah. Um, uh, who are we gonna, who are we gonna cheers to? Uh, maybe Santana. She was probably yeah. the favorite of all of them. I would just say, like, Santana and her insulin. Yeah, and her <laughs> insulin. She made, she made it. She made it. To Santana. To Santana. You go, girl. Mm. Catch us next time for Book of the Month. Woo! Peace. Bye.